designers and managers of the barn must consider the air environment from the perspective of the cow. The conditions at the farm, temperature, wind speed, humidity, are all influences on what happens inside the barn. Once you erect roofs and walls over an area, you change the conditions inside that the cows will experience. The conditions the cows experience inside the barn are not always going to be optimal. In fact, the conditions could be quite stressful. As you would for other parts of your business, you need to consider the risks and the consequences of the animals being stressed. In simple terms, stressed animals will be less productive. Risk management needn't be complicated, but it is important. It is essentially about what your response is to things that might impact your ability to meet your farm business objectives. And animal housing is one thing you need to evaluate. Look at things from the perspective of how likely they are to occur and when. Are they likely to happen regularly and soon, or hardly ever? and a long way in the future. Look at the consequences of issues. They will impact the animals, you and your staff, the environment or your operating budgets. If the combination of likelihood and consequence is significant, you need to determine what action you will apply and how much it will cost if you don't act now. From a dairy barn perspective, it is possible that the environment will get out of range on a significant number of times each year and have major consequences on animal productivity and welfare, enough to do something about it. It has been established that dairy cows are very comfortable within certain environmental parameters. You'll be very familiar with temperature and humidity. While cool temperatures may not be comfortable to humans, dairy cows prefer them. A cow can give off the same heat as a 1.5 kilowatt heater and lactating cows produce a lot of heat, which they need to get rid of, as they don't sweat as we do. Cows do not like conditions that are too humid either, and although less likely to occur in New Zealand, conditions that are very dry. This matrix covers the combined effect of both temperature and humidity on the cow. Although temperature and humidity are important when they're high, as they can cause stress and potentially death, they are not the full story when it comes to the environment inside the barn. We must also consider air movement and radiation, both direct radiation from the sun and re-radiated energy off hot surfaces. With air movement, cows prefer 2 to 5 metres per second passing over them once the temperature goes above about 20 degrees Celsius. This air movement produces the necessary cooling effect that the cows require. Air movement can help compensate for high temperature and high humidity which are less easily controlled. Cows don't like direct solar radiation and will seek shade when they can. But even though the visible light level may be reduced under a barn roof, the discomfort of heat radiation may be hard to avoid, especially when the sun has heated the roof surface to well above air temperature. A hot roof can radiate a large amount of energy onto the animals, which is stressful to them. Bring all those factors together, temperature, humidity, air speed and re-radiation, will produce a square that the cows will want to stay within for optimum comfort and productivity. When cows find themselves outside of the square, welfare and productivity issues can quickly occur. Mm -hmm.